Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. You're watching The Advocate on PLOS TV Africa. Quality, not quantity, when applied to life, points to a distinction between merely living and living properly. A time to reflect. The Holy Book teaches us that life must be numbered in days, and not years, so we can apply our hearts to wisdom. A few days ago, when the news of the demise of the wife of a prominent Lagos pastor broke, I was having a conversation with my wife, marveling about life and how feeble it is, and how we are constantly in pursuit of vanity at the cost of our life's purpose. So my question for you today is, what is your purpose? How would you like to impact lives? How do you wish to be remembered? Some people find this purpose in their pain, some in their talents, some in their significant life experiences. So we should remember that life is not a playground and must be taken seriously. A number of people believe that you must have certain amount of wealth to be able to impact life. However, it is important to note that neither age nor wealth is a barrier to impacting lives. A little word of encouragement, a surprise visit, sharing knowledge, a shoulder to cry on, or a smile could be all that is needed to make all the difference. The pastor's wife, even though passed away so young, had left a remarkable legacy. This is apparent by the stories shared by everyone who crossed her path. We learned that before she passed, she had a foundation that aided women with difficulty having children with IVF treatment. In fact, on her 40th birthday, she was going to help 40 couples have their babies through IVF. In her words, she wanted no parties, no surprises, but only to make 40 homes happy. It is never too late. The time to reflect is now. Start making a change, living intentionally. So I ask again, what is your purpose? What's your purpose? Uh, I would like to send my condolences again to the family of um, the Gudalos. I mean, her, her immediate family and even her extended family. And her extended family now extends to the society because she did a lot. I never met this woman, but the messages and the outpouring on social media and every other platforms just shows you how much she did. But bringing it down to us as a people, I think we need to also begin to demystify the idea of impact for people to understand um, that now taking it back to your initial advocacy, that the fact that you have a job and doing your job diligently is also an impact. Mm. Now, if you neglect that little part of service that you're even being paid for, how do you have the enablement to serve somebody else or even find your purpose? Mm. So it's not until you preach can on, touch... Preacher. No, please, I'm listening. I like what she's saying. A million <laughs> lives. Yeah, it's yeah, not going. until you can have the whole resources to, to touch lives in the magnitude that um, a woman like um, Ibidu Igodale did. It, that is not where it starts or ends. It's about how you touch the next person by your side, how you make your own responsibility a, a duty to also help right. others function well in their way of life. So I think we need to begin to break down what impact really is, because they'll tell you, oh, I can't, I can't afford this, I don't know it, what do I have to help somebody else? But you alone as a person and the way you comport yourself is an it's impact to impact. the next person. Nafisa. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah I, I would definitely like to say that if you could, if I could then break down impact, and legacy into one sentence i would say that it's something that my auntie used to tell me when i was about 13 or 14 i was in jersey ss1 that life is not just about you 
life is not just about you. And from that young age, it made me understand that, look, it's not even about you. It's not just about you, but it's also about other people as well. And, you know, could I say, fortunately, I was able to grow up with this sort of mindset, but not many people my age or younger exactly have, you know, that kind of mindset. When it comes to um, entertainment and things that we absorb on social media, young people, that is, they see the flashy cars, they see the materialism, and that is what they define as what, you know, life is made all about. And during this pandemic, everyone's had to take a back seat. People have been, yesterday, Dan Foster died, you know, from the COVID-19 pandemic. A lot of people have died. Everyone has had to take a back seat and reflect and say, you know, life is so fragile. I could literally be lying down on this bed right now and something will happen to me. And it will be my RIP on Twitter that you'll be retweeting and saying, oh, she was a good person and everything. It makes us think that what would I be remembered for? And yes, the demystifying impact as well, that it's not until you have a million dollars, even a million naira to feed a thousand people. That's 200 naira that you can donate to that organization that is feeding the homeless at this point in time is making an impact. Mm -hmm. You know, like they say, if you don't want to be forgotten as soon as you are gone, uh, that do things worth writing or write things worth reading. Mm -hmm. And um, Martin Luther King, you know, spoke explicitly on this when he said, whatever you are, be the best of it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are that little scrub, you know, be the best little scrub by the valley. And um, if you are a street sweeper, be the best street sweeper that when you die, you know, let it be written that here lies the remain mm -hmm. of a great street sweeper that when she left or he left, Nobody could sweep the streets Street so like well, yeah. and you know, and um, even um, and that's why I'm. I say I will remain, you know, at old school, the real school. Um, <laughs> Aru Kelly, you know, also talked about, you know, uh, I'm the sky up in the sky. I'm the mountain peak on high. Yeah. You know, yeah, but Kelly, uh, yeah. so so when you <laughs> put all of this together, um, you ask yourself, you know, what would I be remembered for? Mm -hmm. You know, how do I want people to see me? Mm -hmm. You know, when, I, when mm -hmm. I'm around, what do I want people to talk about? Uh, and really, with all of this that is happening with COVID-19, you actually ask yourself, what's the essence of life? Mm -hmm. You know, there's basically yeah. nothing apart from living for people. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, if you have a million naira today, take a sense or statistics of how much you spend for yourself. It won't be more than 200,000. You'll find out that, you know, you would spend it on things that ordinarily will affect you. So if you make conscious efforts to impact in people, all this complaint that we're complaining mm. won't be there. If you make effort, conscious effort, you remember you're a lawmaker, mm. you're there to make laws yeah. that will help the growth well, of society. Let me, let me, Rack, I'm hearing that. Uh, so, uh, I'll basically take from what everyone has said in summary, but I, I will only say that in terms of demystifying uh, impact, I would say, I tend to opt for, forget what people will say about you, because I think once you're focused on that, it somehow takes away from the reality of everyday life. I would say that everybody has the, you say, the seed of impact in them. So I, I think every human being has a gift. They have something they can actually do, no matter how small, like the street sweeper. So just focus on being, like everyone is saying, the best you can be. Don't worry too much about what people say after you're gone. You're gone. So just be yourself. Be the best of yourself you can be. And be, be genuine in what you're doing. That, for me, is, is all it takes. I'm not too hung up on what people say about me. They'll say what they like. You know, Whether they say good or bad, I'm still who I am. So just be sincere, be genuine, be authentic. And live your life. Should they be full. genuine godfathers too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. genuine. I know nothing yeah. about godfathers. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So really, you can be a genuine godfather. And um, Sedu has said it frankly and sincerely as he can. After the break, I'll also be calling it what it is: uncertificated or even uncertified certificates.